Hey everybody, it's Amber Rivera Girl and I have a new video for you guys and like I promised, I said I was going to have a review for you guys and I do and it's going to be on the Anime for the Future Diaries which was actually requested of me to do a review on this a while ago and I'm, I'm sorry for just not getting to it. Um, anyway, I watched the Future Diaries probably about a couple years ago or so but it's an anime that literally had me going from beginning to end. And it's also known as Mirai Nikki, and I actually watched this subtitled on Funimation's website, I believe is where I originally watched this show. But basically the premise of The Future Diaries is about a main character who's named Yukitiro Amano, and he pretty much keeps a running diary about random things that goes on around him, and he basically is talks to what he assumes is an imaginary deity and their servant. Well, later on, his deity actually ends up revealing that he's that is an actual deity, and that now there's a game where um, he's basically having someone take over the realm that he rules. So pretty much his success successor. Yeah, can't say that word apparently. Anyway, um, he Yuki finds out that along with himself, there's 11 other diary holders, but their diaries are all very different from his and basically how their diaries are is basically based off of how they already write so his is based off of the random things that go on around him um one character's is based off of like crimes and stuff like that and he actually ends up teaming up with a girl by the name of Yuno Gasai who's actually his obsessive stalker she has a huge crush on Yuki and her diary is all about what Yuki does and basically what Yuno decides to do is she decides to basically make sure that Yuki survives to the very end to make sure that he actually wins but a twist is that there's something else that goes on to more to you know than it actually seems which is revealed towards the latter half of the the show and literally the show can be going from beginning to end um this show is pretty much about 20 as i'm looking at this i'm sorry and i'm sorry the light changed <laughs> about 26 episodes long and like i said before it had me going from beginning to end um, the art was utterly amazing and I love the fight scenes between whenever two diary holders came across each other And basically another thing about the show is that when it comes to the diary holders They don't know who's a diary holder and who is not and the only way that it's revealed is if you're within range of another diary holder then you kind of know who is the who the other diary holder is and whether or not another diary holder has been killed so basically the premise is to kill off everybody else and the last one standing is the one that becomes god of this new world or god of this realm this show had so many twists and turns and you know is utterly oh the light changed again and i raised my hand um anyway the light the light hmm. you know is very very crazy um but she looks like she would be a fun character to voice. I know, I think I put this in one of my blog posts before that I said that I would, if I had to voice any other characters, like if I could, I could put a list of characters and you know was on there. Just because because she's so flipping crazy, like it would be fun to voice her. I don't know what this means about my psyche, but hey, let's go with it. Anyway, Yuki started off as a very, very weak character he's very soft-spoken a little bit kind of shy kind of a shy kid very very kept to himself and through the course of the show he gets a little bit stronger i wouldn't say he gets like i don't know like stronger like physically or anything like that but mentally he really does like mentally he starts to speak up for himself speak up for what to speak speaks up for what he believes in and he very much so starts to try to protect others whom he deems he should protect and a lot of them he's protecting from you know because he starts to realize just how crazy this girl is and he wants to protect other people from her wrath so those but he still is very like that soft spoken kind of a character so i started off I started off liking him and then throughout the course of the show I started to like him a little bit more. As far as for you know is concerned, I started off really thinking or already knowing that she was kind of crazy. And then of course through the course, course of the series I started to realize that she's very, very crazy. There's even a particular scene, those of you guys who have seen this know what I'm talking about, where one of the characters says, well then go ahead and kill me, and she, you know, goes, okay, and then pulls out a gun from nowhere and is about to shoot this character, and Yuki's like, what are you doing? Like, don't do this. 
but that just shows just how crazy she is that she has like zero remorse she's just gonna do it she doesn't care she's gonna go for it but overall if you have not seen this show you need to early see it at this point in time i'm not for sure whether or not it's dubbed i know i watched the subtitled and the subtitle was utterly amazing but definitely check out this show I, as you can see i didn't say any spoilers because I don't want to do that for anyone who has not seen the show but just watch it and if you're someone who likes those thriller kind of a shows that all those twists and turns like you don't know what's gonna happen then watch it it's very much kind of like watching erased a little bit so but still watch it please watch this show and you will not be disappointed in this show at all because there's like I said there's so many twists and turns that you think one thing's gonna happen and something completely utterly different happens so yeah check out the show anyway i have another video out for you guys on wednesday it's probably going to be another as soon as the light decides to change eh, i guess we'll go with this <laughs> um it should be another discussion and um i'll probably do another review for next week i'm going to try and see if i could do at least one review a week whether it's going to be an anime i've already seen or a manga i've already read or anything like that and of course comment down below anything you guys would like me to read and or watch so yeah or anything i'd like like me to discuss that too i'm gonna start try and start posting my blog more so yeah give this video a thumbs up if you've seen the future diaries or mariah nikki they're called by both names or if you plan to watch this show or what you thought of my review so give it a thumbs up if you haven't already and of course also you know subscribe as well if you, if you haven't already and enjoy the rest of my videos that i have on my channel all right thanks so much and like always i leave links down below to all my social media accounts so feel free to check them out and also follow me on there and yeah, thanks you guys so much.